Singapore's 15-year-olds are ranked top in global competence, demonstrating an ability to thrive in an interconnected world. The nation beat 26 other countries and economies, including Canada and Hong Kong, in a global study of school systems called PISA. From Yishun to the world, immersion programs like these allow students to exchange ideas, culture and skills. One of the highlights was me singing in front of a school. It's my first time in China and it's, it was a very, very good experience. I realized that after going to Taiwan, the world is very big and very large and that different cultures may have different solutions of solving a problem and one may be better than the other or maybe more efficient than, than the other. Despite the pandemic, the annual trip will still continue online. Trips like these help students raise global competence, which is an ability to thrive in an interconnected world. Over 6,000 Singapore students took part in PISA, a global study of school systems in 2018, and nearly half of them achieved the highest levels of global competence. The study found that our students, regardless of background, have shown a strong ability to examine global issues, interact and communicate clearly with people across different cultural backgrounds and appreciate multiple perspectives. Languages help to enhance this ability. The report showed 9 in 10 Singapore students speak at least two languages. Some are also learning other languages on top of English and their mother tongue. Can you tell me why do you like to learn Malay? Saya tapan terpuruan takkan kawan-kawan. Ah, okay. And how about you? Why do you decide to learn Chinese? Yeah. You know, speaking multiple languages is not just fun or interesting. In fact, it promotes social cohesion and facilitates dialogue between different cultures. One expert from Human Capital Singapore says it's even more important for individuals to broaden their worldview when they're young. This will allow them to build geopolitical and cultural sensitivity, allowing them to make friends and do business around the world. The report also showed room for improvement. For one, students are confident talking about climate change, but less aware of some issues like global health and international conflicts. We conduct environmental scans and analyze uh, local and global trends so that we ensure the kinds of uh, knowledge, skills, values and dispositions uh, in our curriculum actually help to prepare our students to keep pace with global developments and uh, prepare them for the future as well. Ms. Un added that these skills allow students to make sense of what's going on in the world, something that's perhaps increasingly vital as COVID-19 and extremism bring racial and cultural issues to the fore.